What's going on guys? Jordan here with EliteFTS.com. Um, what we're gonna do is go over a tricep accessory movement that helps reinstate proper shoulder function. Now, going through the bench press, we're always retracted and depressed, and there's, there's conflicting fields of thought on whether or not we should be in the overhead plane when we're trying to be as specific as possible to get the most out of our bench press. So, training the tricep in what we'll call a fully lengthened position in the overhead, might have very little to do with actually strengthening the tricep because it doesn't have the specific carryover due to its position to the actual bench press itself. The benefit of training the overhead position is reintegrating that movement of the scapula that's lost in the bench and also being able to clear for any potential issues at the elbow or shoulder in this very advanced range of motion, usually to the tune of 90 degrees outside of the plane that we usually work with in the bench. Now, the carryover isn't directly from building strength, it's more so the benefit of this exercise is begin to keeping at bay potential dysfunction causing pain at the elbow as we come down from the overhead into the plane of the bench press. So what a lot of guys do, they have issues with overhead tricep extensions. So what they do is they move down the line and they go to more neutral shoulder positions rather than actually fixing the underlying issue at the shoulder. So keeping exercises in the overhead plane, whether it's overhead press, whether it's tricep extensions, um, whether it's even like high cable bicep curls, keeping that shoulder mobile is gonna help give us a functional buffer, which will allow us to keep at bay and allow us to start to perceive potential dysfunction that could creep into the plane of the bench press. You know, elbow pain and powerlifting is a very common malady that can be uh, mitigated going into a prep by making cerebral choices based around our supplemental and accessory movements. So this particular variation, we're gonna use a dumbbell in the full overhead position. Now I want you to think about the shoulder blade. I want you to rotate that shoulder blade uh, punch to the ceiling with the serratus, trying to get the elbow and shoulder in a straight line. And as we lower this dumbbell down, we're gonna think about driving that elbow to the ceiling, creating as much stability in that shoulder blade as we can, find that fully lengthened position, stay there under that challenge, keep this in a straight line as we drive up and extend. Right, so this isn't really taxing our tricep until we're in that fully lengthened position. And as we lower to find that fully lengthened position, we're gonna take that shoulder blade and we're really gonna elevate and rotate it, activating that serratus that gets deprioritized when we execute a movement like the bench press because our rhomboids kind of take the wheel and it turns off the action of the serratus. So it has very little to do necessarily with building you know, mass or strength correspondent strength to the triceps as it pertains to the bench press, but being able to reinstate that shoulder function and integrate tricep um, action in that overhead position will better help us long term be able to keep our elbows and shoulder healthy. So again, more cerebral choices based around our supplemental and, and accessory movements are going to see us well as we go into a meat prep and have to be more hyper specific in our sort of competition, um, competition lifts. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the love.